Welcome back to the video blog, Adam Daniel Mazze is my name. I'm your PMD for hire, producer of marketing and distribution. That's right, the 50% of your budget that you're not allocating for P&A, for prints and advertising. I'm your PMD for hire.com. Today I want to talk about being a tool. Don't be one. Don't be a fucking tool. I mean it. Now look around me. You see all the snow? I'm sitting in it. I'm sitting amidst it. It's on this table. It's on this bench that I'm sitting on. It's back here on the lawn. It's all over the show. I should take off the camera and you can see just how much snow actually fell in this city. But that's no reason to stop a city's functioning. That's no reason that traffic should come to a complete halt. That's no reason that public transportation shouldn't work properly. That's no reason that you should be keeping your kids home because you're worried that they're going to have to call out the army so that they're going to have to shovel the sidewalks so that people don't break their necks. Some countries get snow. Some countries don't. Scandinavian countries like Sweden, Finland, and Norway, they get snow. So does Canada. So does Russia. So does certain northern parts of the United States or, of course, the state of Alaska. Some states get snow and other ones don't. What does that mean? It means be prepared for it. It means equip your city to deal with inundations of snow in the event that they fall. Don't freak out. Don't be a frickin' tool. It's amazing they were predicting this massive snowstorm from Tuesday to Wednesday night here in Toronto, and everybody stayed home, as per usual. It's no wonder that this city, the largest city in the country, the financial and cultural capital, it's no reason that it also happens to be the laughing stock of Canada, because every time there's some kind of an environmental or a climactic crisis, this city goes into complete lockdown mode, like they're shutting down some kind of a bank vault at the Fed or something like that. It's ridiculous. It's silly. Stop being a fucking tool. This city has a hilarity factor that probably exceeds the number 10. Do you understand what I mean? Think about it. Everybody bought into the, everybody drank the Kool-Aid, everybody bought into the hype. I was reading about it in the newspapers the day after. No problem. I can shift around. Wednesday I had a meeting. I went there. I was on time. What's the big story? What is the big story? Why are you being a tool and why are you being afraid when all of the news organizations comes out and says there's going to be a massive inundation of snow? This is a lot of snow, but we can handle it. We can deal with it. We are Canadians. That's what we do. Canadians have snow. It's a simple fact of the matter. It's a function of living in this country. If you can't deal with it, don't live here. And if you're afraid every time, then you're a tool. You're a tool. Don't be a tool. That's what I'm trying to say. And they had all kinds of jokes. Every single newspaper across Canada had bad things to say about Toronto, and I don't think it's proper. Well, that's what happens here. You know, I'm trying to think also why that happens. You know, to be honest, if I really analyze the demographics of this city, the truth of the matter is, it's not your grandfather's Toronto. It's not the Toronto that my parents grew up in, for instance. Okay, it's a completely different city. It looks different. It feels different. Most of the people that live in this city, I would say 60% of the population of the individuals that live in this city, don't hail from countries that are more than 10 degrees north or south of the equator. That's the truth of the matter. And of course, people can't deal with snow. Unfortunately, it's a fact of the matter of living in Canada. We get snow for at least four months of the year. But you know what I'm trying to say? So they can't deal with it. So the news comes out and everybody, of course, cocoons and stays home and hibernates. Who's responsible for whipping up this frenzy? This, some, I could even say this terror. Who, who, who's responsible? The media is responsible. And you're even doubly responsible for being a fucking tool and for gobbling it up hook, line, and sinker. Don't be a tool. That's what I have to say, and it all has to do with this fluffy white stuff. And it is fluffy today, mind you, as I look on the table. It is fluffy, but don't let it put the fear of G-O-D into you. My name? Adam Daniel Mazze. That's right. AdamDanielMazze.com. Wishing you, on this Friday before the weekend, the very best of things.